Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperator where we just took over a significant chunk of Carthage. Comparing our population to Rome, we've got Rome at 9864 pops and we are at 8719. That is a solid improvement. We're not quite rivaling Rome yet, but we are getting there. That's absolutely great. What's not so great right now is our financial situation. We just spent a lot of money in that war, no doubt about that, and we're going to need to start transporting some troops back to Carpatania. Most of our troops are going to go back to Hispania, but we'll leave the Legion of Lusitania for now in North Africa. But if we're going to fight Rome, which if we are right now, Rome is going to fight us, not the other way around. But if we're going to end up fighting Rome, then this is going to be a multi-front multi -front war. We've got this here, we've got this front, we've got this front, we've got this front, and we've got this front, right? So really, we should probably leave the first army of the Legion of Galicia down over this way somewhere. This is not very developed. They would have a lot of attrition unless they were parked, like, down here. Actually, even all of this would be a lot of attrition. We could park them here. And then just rely on mercs to uh, handle this front for the time being. That may not be the worst of ideas. So that's fine for right now. We do have all of these guys that are grouped up at the port. And we're going to embark however many of these we can. Which apparently is all of them. Beautiful. And we're going to move all three of those armies over. So we know we have five total legions. We're going to have three legions back in Hispania. And we're leaving two in Africa then. So that seems good. We're going to be able to expand our legions. And we're also going to eventually... Well, we, we need to work on our economy before we expand our legions, I think. Expanding our legions is relatively high priority, but we're really high aggressive expansion right now, like incredibly high. And so we need to chill on the aggressive expansion front. No doubt about that one. So the Legion of Contestania is... Oh, that's still embarked. Okay, that'll come back over here. We'll send the Legion of Bayetica, I think, up over this direction. And then we'll send the... Or I guess this is the Legion of Biotica. That'll come down over here. Okay, now we do have new territories that we haven't built roads in. So we may want to consider building some roads. We got very little territory up over here. Yeah, strike the earth. More Roman citizens moving here. I think this out over here is where most of the roads will need to be built. Yeah, that's definitely the case. We can get some road construction going here, but there's really not going to be that much over on this side. So for now, what we're going to do is we're going to come up over here. We just got a new leader, and that is the former governor, Bayetica. So we'll do something like that. There we go. And we'll set you onto road build, and all you're going to do is something like that, and then head right on back to your station point. So that'll be fine. These guys are going to be drilling once they get to their station points, which will cost money. There's a civil war potentially brewing. We'll keep an eye on that. It actually just went away on its own. Wonderful. So we're going to continue to road build out over here. And that'll go something kind of like this, but I think that we should probably have it join together kind of like that. Then once all of that is done, you're going to walk all the way down here and continue to road build up here. Now, this settlement is not considered our territory, which is mildly awkward, but we'll do something kind of like this. These roads are pretty self-defining. This is not really all that big of an issue. Road-wise, we don't have any big decisions to make here. So that's looking good. This can, of course, come over like so. And then this becomes mildly awkward over here, I suppose. But it's really not too bad. This will be building roads for a while. Can we build a road through this 
uninhabitable ter territory. It is technically ours. I don't know if we can or not. We'll try it. It'd be great if we could. So after that, we would come back up over this direction via whatever route we think is best. And then we would just come out over this direction and build roads kind of like that. But I'm pretty sure we would not be able to build a road through these uninhabitable terrains. We'll give it a go, but I don't think that'll work. So beyond that, we would then just need to come down over here and get something like that going. She's at 60 loyalty, so we don't need to be too concerned about that. I think I'm not going to have these guys drill for the time being because we're going to need a decent amount of cash. So that's all good. We're going to get those roads built, and we do need to lose aggressive expansion. It is going down reasonably quickly, 0.27 per month, but Rome is going to be pretty upset at us. I'm going to improve... Actually, we can't improve opinions with them. This guy will have to cover the costs, and he's not happy about covering those costs. Maguna Carosa is the primary problem here, and apparently this guy was caught red-handed. Red uh, the dungeon will straighten him out. So we're going to bribe Maguna Carosa. There we go. No problem there. We need a new religious researcher, and actually... Local research points, if governor... Okay, so you're the one to go for. Cool. So that's all looking fine. There's not all the, that much we can do with, re, with regard to Rome right now. We have a bunch of settlements that are going to need to be upgraded to cities, but we also, I'm sure, have just a ton of city buildings that we need to build. So we can take a look at that. We can actually build some provincial legations first. There's a number of these that would be doable. We'll keep around at least around 100-ish gold for our road constructions. These guys are done, and we're going to take them off of road build, but we're not going to drill them at this time. We know that we're going to need money for a fair amount of things here. I would like to get rid of this holding. Unfortunately, we can't. This city currently has a fortress. I'm going to get rid of it. I don't think it's necessary. This fortress here is actually useful for us in delaying the Romans a little bit. So we'll keep that one around. We do need a new sensor, and that will be Rhea Adaxa. And we do have some rebellions thinking about brewing up here. I can't say I'm shocked about any of that. We should definitely go in and perform a divine sacrifice. It'll be relatively expensive, but that will cut down on our stability loss. We may even want to do a second one, which is quite expensive, but that will cut down a lot on our stability loss. So that's great. We have a great wonder upgrade available here. I think it's fine for now though. I'm not gonna be too concerned about it. I want to spend our money on other things at this moment. So that'll be good. These guys are on their way on their big march down here to start their roads down here. Share it with the state, please. Thank you. Excellent. So that gives us a good amount of cash that we can, of course, toss into provincial legations. And we will do exactly that until we are done with building provincial legations, which will be in a bit. We need 128 gold to build one? Okay, sure. So we're making about 50 gold per month right now. And these guys are going to be spending a decent amount of gold. They're going to be busy building roads for a bit. I think that's pretty clear. The first navy is lacking a commander. We'll put this guy in. The first navy doesn't really do all that much right now, but for for now, it'll be fine. Okay, so we've got a bunch of infrastructure to build here. There's no doubt about that. I do want to get all these provincial legations done so that we are getting the pop assimilation speed worked on. We certainly need to do pop assimilations. So we've got a few provincial legations left here. Let's just get those going for the time being. Making about 50 gold per month is not amazing, but it's fine. We only need to keep 10 gold in stock right now. So that'll be absolutely fine. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine additional provincial legations to construct before we're building city buildings. Okay, that's not so bad. And 
I mean, our aggressive expansion is huge. No doubt about that. But our stability is going to start going up fairly soon due to our divine sacrifices. So that's good. So far, Rome hasn't attacked us. We just got three free stability, which is nice. That'll keep our stability up for a while. Ooh, a surplus of pomegranates. We should sell them. We'll take the gold. Absolutely, we'll take the gold. That will build us a bunch of provincial legations and get really close to having this portion of the infrastructure job finished, which would be absolutely great. We do need a new governor in Africa, and we'll put you in. Provincial loyalty going up. I do like that. So we have a number of disloyal provinces, right? But for now, it's okay. I'm not too concerned about it. Okay. Now we're starting to construct these roads over here. Perfect. You are connecting over here, right? Yeah, that's just not rendering. Cool. So that'll be good. We do need an additional provincial legation. We only need two additional provincial legations at this time. So that's looking great. We'll get that assimilation speed going. And we definitely need to chill here. We need to let our aggressive expansion drop quite a lot. Quite a lot indeed. How is the Roman opinion of us doing? 152? That's actually improved by a substantial margin. That's great. I'm really, really happy to see that. We can get another provincial legation going here, and we'll definitely do that. Guigu. Perfect. Okay. So these roads are underway. It's going to take a while to get that all built up. No doubt about that one. That's probably not the most efficient path to take in the world either. But for the moment, that's reasonably okay. I don't... Actually, it's fine to build this. That's only 106. Do it. Absolutely do it. So all those provincial legations are underway now, and that means that we're done with our settlement buildings for the time being. We can now build city buildings or upgrade our settlements to cities. Those are the options. For now, I think city buildings are definitely the way to go, especially in locations where we're going to be building tax offices. This is unfortunately a training camp, so we'll let that happen. What else do we need? Over here is a library, a spread of corruption. Ooh, that's not great. An assembly of residents reducing corruption by 0.1. That's actually pretty good. Let's do it. Okay, let's get this library going here. Where else do we need to build city buildings? A library over here. These are 53 gold. Do it. Cool. So we're going to get these constructions underway. A minor addendum, six stability for 10 political influence is actually worthwhile, and we're going to do that. And our provincial legations are all finished up at this point. That's wonderful. It's not just that they're all queued up. They are all completed. We can get a tax office going up over this direction. And what else can we build? Something over in this city, that would be a tax office. Very nice. I like it. Over here, we need an additional tax office. I'm going to... We don't technically... Ah, we do actually need a month tick here. We're going to wait a month tick for that one. And then we'll get that going. Perfect. Then, what else do we need? Well, we don't have the cash for anything else right now. This road build is, of course, reducing reducing things here. Ooh, this did not actually connect the way I thought it would. I think we passed through here. So once we make our way there, let's come over here and then path directly up like that. Okay. Now we know that we have a direct connection here. Good. So what else do we need to construct? Well, something up over this way in Loza. We could use a library. In Karai, we need a tax office, and that's great. We're really, really happy to build additional tax offices at this moment. Here's a tax office and a religious advance. Cool. So I don't think we really need to be working on these martial advances at this time. I think that something along the lines of... Hmm. 
Civic advances are probably the way that we want to go here. Although aggressive expansion change is nice. That's definitely not a bad thing. However, I think that going for unintegrated culture group happiness makes a lot of sense here. So let's grab that for the moment. That'll be fine. That'll boost up our just generic happiness. Oh, wow. There's only one location that's actually losing loyalty that's considered disloyal right now, and that is this one. And they're on conversion. We can probably make this, with harsh treatment, be positive as well. That's great. Three tyranny. Okay, sure. We'll take it. So we're continuing to construct our roads, and of course we need to continue to construct buildings as well. We can call down an omen. I'm going to go for slave output here for our raw economy. And then beyond that, I want to come down this way, build a library. That'll be fine. What else do we need? Walking to the banner. No. Get out of here. Unfortunately, that lost is five stability. We've got a city over here. This produces fish. I think that's okay for that to be slave then. That seems fine. So I'm going to drop one level of port here. We're going to keep one level of fort. We're going to drop the marketplace. We're going to put in a mill here and a second mill. We're eventually going to need a third mill and a tax office is the way this is going to go. So the third mill is 106 gold. So on the next month tick, we'll have enough to get this. And then hopefully, no, we don't deal in demands. Who is this guy? Who do you lead? We don't deal in demands. That's this guy, I think. Yeah, this guy. Okay, we're going to bribe him. Or, well, persuade him. Since we are silver tongue. Okay, she's still at 54, so that's absolutely great for the time being. Now, hmm, that's a lot of gold. We'll execute some of them. They'll come around. And there's also an escape, and we have a new ruling party. Our stability has decreased due to the new ruling party. It's fine. We'll put this lady in charge of Biatica, and down over this way, we are going to, of course, queue up an additional mill. We do have a civil war brewing up right now. That is Sonatus Divicus, and that is this fellow right here, who will bribe. Okay, and an oratory advance. So that's wonderful. Something along the lines of Libertini for slave happiness would be really good. Yeah, I love it. We're going to grab national slave happiness here, boosting our slave happiness across the board by 4%. That's actually a big deal. Like, look at how much our income jumped by. That's kind of insane. It's going to go down a little bit, but yeah, that's really solid. I like it. So we're continuing to build these roads here. We have a ways to go on them yet. No doubt about that one. But we're making good progress on getting this all done. We've got this area mostly completed. We do need to come over to Palma. I think having a level of fort here does make some sense. And it looks like this is otherwise set up to be a research city. We could definitely work down that route. That seems fine to me. So we're going to need to wait for next month tick before we build this academy for sure. But otherwise, we're definitely making our way through these constructions. I'm very pleased at the rate this is going. And this is even with these roads being built. So yeah, this is going good. Going absolutely well. I would like to get this section of Carthage taken over, of course, and I guess Malta out over here too, but they're just, there's this awkward little bit of Rome here. It's very, very awkward. But we've taken over most of Carthage at this point. Have we broken 9k yet? No, we're at 8,800. So we're still 1,100 pops behind Rome, but we're definitely keeping pace with them at least, if not outright outpacing them. So, what else do we need? We've got some cities up over this direction. Cool. So, this is at 8 out of 10. This is set up as a slave city producing spices. Okay, sure. We'll build a pair of tax offices here. 
Over in beta, this is not set up as anything at all. It produces grain. I think that we absolutely make this be a slave city. Producing grain is valuable. And North African grain is very useful for a Mediterranean empire. There's no doubt about that. So this is costing 244. So we can actually get away with building that right now. Sure, you can be our high priest, I guess. That's fine. So of course we're going to build mills next. Mills are relatively expensive. But that's fine. No problem whatsoever here. We actually do want to go through and enable automatic trading in our new provinces. So any of these that have automatic trading disabled, let's just enable it. Cool. Any others here? Yep, there are a couple. And there we go. That'll do for now. So that's great. I do want to come out over here and build that mill. Mm, that guy died and the Kurosi family is now considered scorned. Sure, that's fine. Let's get that mill queued up. We've got a number of mills to queue here. And that's going to be a little bit in terms of gold. It'll, it'll take some time to get there. Cool. So we're definitely making progress on these roads, right? We've got a decent trunk road going through all the way here. Not too bad. We're making progress. Down over this way, of course, we're going to queue up an additional mill now that we have the gold for it. And one more mill on the next month tick. Then we're going to build a couple of tax offices here. And that'll be fine. But next month tick is when this additional mill comes in. We do have a military tradition available. And let's see what we want to grab here. We're starting to run out of things that we really, really want. Although that omen power isn't bad. Loyalty of generals and planes and hill combat bonus. Both of these are quite good, actually. Local provincial loyalty in Celtica Mayoris. It's a lot of political influence, but we have it. So let's do it. Let's grab, for now, the loyalty of generals. And everything else in this tree is actually pretty good. It's a dangerous precedent. We're going to lose some stability. We are positive on our stability right now, and we did drop below 50 AE. That is really good. So Rome is down to minus 118 in its opinion of us. I'm starting to think that they're not going to declare on us from this one. I'm kind of surprised. I did expect Rome to declare on us, to be honest, at some point. Now, I do want to come up over here and cont continue filling out this city. We need a pair of tax offices here. Cool. Checking in on the status of these guys. Wonderful. Okay, what else do we need? Well, we have a city over here that needs something, and that's just a tax office. So we'll get that maintained before moving southward here. Okay, we need something out over here. This is a tax office as well. Beautiful. So that's producing spices. That'll be fine. Just tax offices here. Cool. A couple of people just died. We need a bunch of tax offices here. And we should be able to afford getting all of that done. We need an oratory researcher. And our most skilled is actually a scorned family. So that's great. Who's angry? Uh, the Numidian. Okay. The, that's Velariger Garana. Okay. So that is this guy, Numidian. Cool. Do we accede to Venoma's demands here? Didn't we already do this? Oh, this is a tyranny reduction. Sure, do it. That seems fine. So we've got our legate here. I'm just going to bribe her. There we go. We'll keep that loyalty. Phenomenal. Where else do we need... Oh, now we... Oh, people are di dying left and right. Wow, okay. So we need a new governor in, in Numidia. There we go. And we need a physician. There we go. We're going to take gold here from this infant. Perfect. And now people are angry again. Ilika Carosa, the new governor of Numidia that we just put in, is being a jerk. We're going to bribe her, and that's fine. There we go. And now what do we need to work on? Over here in Atlas, we need to decide what we want this to be. They produce glass. Honestly, I'm going to make it be a slave city. I feel like that's what we need more than anything right now. 
So we're going to put in a foundry here. And our stability being this low is actually quite bad. And our stability is decaying as well. This is because our divine sacrifice wore off. I'm going to do another divine sacrifice here. Now we're neutral on our stability. Okay. I'm not going to do a second divine sacrifice at this time. Our aggressive expansion is our primary issue. Those families are indeed far too powerful. And we're going to build a mill out over here. And even a second mill. There we go. We'll get a third mill here going eventually. But for now, that will be absolutely fine. Local tax, we like it. The Tribune of the Soldiers just died. Okay. And we're going to put in this guy. Fantastic. Okay, and with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to continue working our way through our city maintenance deficit, I guess we can call it. That's pretty much what we've got going on here, I think. We can definitely do that next episode, and we'll see about maybe expanding our military. I don't know how viable that will be in the medium term here. Although, now that I think about it, we're still on max army maintenance. We should turn that down. That would be very helpful. Okay. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Shadow Wolf, and Lohan80, Rogue Corvid, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Sockaman 12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.